When you think about a market that we are trying to build, and this is a market, by the way, it's not a product, contrary to what some people will say. Um, when you say something is defaulted, you send the wrong message to the investment committee and they start to worry, especially in an environment where we're quite suspicious of new things. You are in danger of killing uh, a good initiative through bad information. Now, in terms of, and I say the word initiative, and I, I use the word very loosely. This is actually an industrial revolution, if you think about it. Just think for a second that Nigeria signed up to NDCs, yeah? The National Determined Contributions at the Paris Agenda, in terms of what Nigeria will do to reduce climate change. But it's not just reducing climate change for the sake of it, but how it actually impacts the people, how it helps develop the nation. If you actually transit that forward, the capital market is where large sums of money is required to move the investment community towards investing in this type of assets to achieve what we're trying to do. So essentially, if you think it, if you can connect the NDCs to the real economy, in Nigeria, as is most developing economy, it's very difficult to find large projects that you can throw 50, 60 million dollars at. The investment committee, the issuers, will probably not get out of bed for anything below a certain amount of money. 10 billion, for instance. 15 million, which is being talked about by the federal government, is in the right direction. But when you think about the nature and the, 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 the enormity of the problems we face today in transportation, in, in, in uh, uh, waste management, in energy especially. I, I mentioned earlier that an industrial nation requires a thousand megawatts by a million people to develop. We're throwing money at a grid that is fast becoming a bit of a, a, a nightmare to actually develop. If you look to off-grid uh, opportunities, for instance, then you begin to see where we can actually invest in green assets that will generate revenue for investment opportunities and will also uh, uh, have a, a, um, a positive impact on the lives of every one of us. Just think for a second if you had light every time you go home. You don't have to worry about where the generator is, the noise, pollution. You don't have to worry about do I have diesel or not. Your kids can actually spend more time in the evening doing their homework in relative comfort. And you get better grades. You know, we, we can have all our streets lit up. Crime will go down. And that's just in one sector. That's energy, transportation, mass movement of people, congestion, ur the urbanization. If you start developing other parts of Nigeria, for instance, our congested urban environments will reduce. So I, I can go on and on and on about this, but you, the question you asked was, how critical is the information? Yet again, if you don't know what green is, how do you even tell people what is you're looking to be investing in? And as capital market reporters, and uh, in the conscious of the capital market as I see it, you need to start asking the investors, why aren't you investing in green assets? And issuers, why aren't you bringing to market what investors want to see? And our regulators, why aren't you safeguarding our markets to ensure that you penalize bad behavior and start to uh, uh, reward good, safe, green investments? So it cuts across the entire gambit, whether it's the, the exchange platform, FMDQ, uh, uh, Nigerian Stock Exchange, what incentives are you giving for people to issue green? The, the federal ministry, uh, what incentives are you giving for people to invest in green? Um, the guidance of even the manager of the market, SEC, are, are you actually building a conducive environment to ensure that the pillars of green investments yeah, are, are protected and people are accountable for the money they take from us and they report effectively, adequately and on time as they say they will. In a nutshell now, how would the you know, coming of the green bond affect the landscape in terms of the market, stock market and the economy? And how easily accessible is this green bond funding? Okay, so in terms of the market, if I just look at the market on its own, right now we're fast running out of assets to invest in. Yeah, we're either investing in treasury bonds and that's it. Our corporate bonds market hasn't grown for a long time. This is actually an opportunity for corporates, SPVs, to start issuing bonds to finance projects that otherwise would not have actually had access to financing. When you start financing green assets and people begin to invest in it, all of a sudden, the capital market is growing. The opportunity for investment is there. Our pension funds are investing in long-term sustainable assets. Even the IT networks, it begins to benefit the economy globally. We create more jobs. We create more wealth for people. To, to infrastructural development it goes beyond just roads. Housing, for instance. 
in, in other climes, you have mortgages for 25 years, 30 years. That doesn't exist. And that's why most of us rent. So if we, you and I actually have access to a mortgage that I can pay over a lifetime, I'll get onto the housing ladder a lot earlier. You know what I mean? If transportation is being funded, I don't need to drive a car. Yeah? I can get public transport in the comfort of myself and get to work and back. Yeah? If I have power, as I said earlier, then I don't have to worry about my better pass, my neighbor, or generator and the noise pollution. Waste management. Today we spoke earlier about plastics all over the place. If a company were to set up today, just cleansing all of that, that's money. Employment for people. So what the impact is, it's massive. It's just mind-boggling, and it's just, it would change the way we do business and the impact on our society as a whole.